and the title of this video as you can see is how not to get food poisoning in Asia while you're traveling 20 seconds in and already singing so many of you might be going to Asia right now to backpack and you're thinking about the food and you're thinking probably what is the food gonna be like what are they going to be conditions of the food is it safe is it scary you've probably seen so many videos of people being food poisoned or you heard about it or you've been warned about it now yes that is common in Asia for many reasons and I'm about to tell you how to prevent yourself from food poisoning because I was traveling Asia a long time, six months and the truth is I've never been food poisoned ever. I've knew people that were food poisoned but me, myself and I have never been food poisoned because there are specific things that I do that other people just didn't care about and it was like come on what are you doing? While other people were in pain with stomach pains in bed for a few days I was there like hello where's the party at? but yeah let's get straight to this video and I hope these tips and tricks how to avoid food poisoning will help you and when you go to Asia you can avoid everything I have said and try everything I have said first things first Asian water it's a no 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 if you drink water in Asia from the tap no you won't be feeling very good and you might go straight to the hospital so the only water you should be drinking from is bottled water now there is a lot of controversy about washing your teeth and using bottled water or using tap water the truth of the matter is I didn't care and I've never been food poisoned and I drank tap water but not drank just flushed my teeth while I was washing teeth it never actually entered my mouth it could have but I didn't but nothing ever happened to me I really didn't have money and time to be thinking about water every time I wash my teeth for some reason I just had my water for drinking and washing teeth whatever water I could have I was washing just flashing my teeth so that's one thing you should be be careful of water don't drink tap water at all tip number two I always pretty much 90% of the time used to buy street food people say street food you know it's a day blah 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 street food is the best food in Asia there is no better food in restaurants than on street food where people come locally and cook their own food you also have to be careful because sometimes you will see food already made in a lot of places there will be food already made where people will be like selling it and then you'll be like I want this this and this and obviously I'm not saying you will get food poisoned but there is a risk of getting food poisoning only because you don't know where this food comes from you don't know how long the food has been sitting there and how they cook the food if you know what I mean so when I used to buy my food for example fried rice or pad thai or this and this and this I always went to a place and there is loads of places around it's not like you'll be just prepared no 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 be prepared freshly made duh, 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 duh. I always went to the ones that cook right in front of me basically these people who cook fried rice they have already rice made and then just put vegetables or whatever cook in front of you everything is fresh bang 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 tastes amazing and the same with pad thai the noodles noodles are already made da, 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 they cook in front of you in a massive large pan and it's beautiful yes i'm not gonna lie sometimes i have already made food like for example a soup in the restaurant and i was just lucky because i didn't get food poisoned i suppose but everything i was buying off the streets was always freshly made you know even a salad was cut in front of me stuff like that so that was one of my tips that i always did um avoided buying already packed or already made food in front of me fruit and vegetables people will be selling a lot of fruits and vegetables on the street i've never actually heard anybody getting food poisoned from that but there is a smallest risk that the fruits have been washed with a normal water and uh, sorry tap water and then you eat that and then you might get food poisoning because of the water so you can prevent that by washing your own fruits with bottled water however some fruits are already cut and chopped and they go straight into your mouth but the way i see that is let's say you have a fruit here and you have a skin on it and you chop the skin off and you have this beautiful juicy fruit inside it hasn't really been touching water has it unless people washed the inside bits with water so I just had that for breakfast or whatever and nothing really happens to me either. If you are willing to go to a restaurant, avoid places where you don't see any people. If you see a restaurant full of customers, they probably serve really good food. But if you go then it's empty and this one is really full and this empty is cheaper one, don't go to the empty one. Pay a little bit more and get better food where there's customers. And that is a true thing. A lot of places, empty places, will have really cheap food. But there's a reason why there's no customers so avoid these places i have very a lot of scenarios i heard where people get food poisoned 
in the restaurants and I was like oh because you get told that it's from street food but it's actually from restaurants and one last important thing now you might be going on trips you know you're going to Asia you're going on a boat trip you're going to be on the bus for a long time you're going to be this you're going to be that they will try to give you food for free as an as a included package don't eat it I had my brother who was on a boat trip all day seven hours and they gave him fried rice he came back four days of his holiday was ruined um, it was not good because he was just on a holiday not traveling so I felt really really bad for him so that happened so avoid taking anything they give you on buses if you're going on a bus journey and you know it's going for 10 hours bring your own food don't even bother taking their food because trust me I don't you don't know where it's cooked how long it's been there and you just get given like this bowl of rice and eat it and last fix is last if anything feels dodgy looks dodgy then just say no because trust me, wasting, if you're on holiday or even backpacking, four days of your trip just to lay in bed, feel really sick, can't breathe, can't eat, can't drink, and just lay there with massive stomach pains, it ruins your holiday. While everybody else is going out, you'll be feeling really crap at home. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it can help you and it makes you feel a little bit better and now you can feel maybe more safer about getting food in Asia. But yeah, trust me, it's an amazing food there and you don't have to worry too much, just avoid getting dodgy food already made food you know it's having common sense yeah see you guys soon if you have any recommendations for future videos then leave them down below and like this video would be really helpful for me and yeah love you guys